adding matches to figure out how good their form is. Well, it's going to start off with the CZ on ramp, and Nox able to trade that one. So T's get through. Nox, he's going to make the difference so far in this pistol. Bombs planted. And Rain, well, he's going to be on the receiving end of those Glock shots. This is a three-piece for Nox already. One round deep in the very first map. Cold Zera, he's going to creep along the oil train, and Twist just takes his head off. So Nico now, he's going to get that long-range engagement, but it doesn't go any better. It's a full house between Nock and Twist. Good. As his teammates all start to get closer to Ivy, drawing the attention of Nico, you can see him here on half of the screen, kind of turning attention, but Nico can react fast enough. However, Nox out of Ivy, and at 7-1 and one already, he looks to entry on this A site. Plopsky adds one to the kill feed, and while damage is being taken here from ninjas, they do get it into the 3 versus 3. 50 seconds. This is kind of nuts for the CTs. They're actually rotating back to inner. Uh, that means an IP have to cut noise adequately. The IV rotate, however, catches them off guard. It'll bring the CTs back. And, uh, yeah, an IP don't have grenades to try to plant, so they'll just have to stick it and cross their toes. And we already questioned the utility of FaZe Clan. They've got that double flashbang single molly. Knock between the trains. Off to a flying start at the moment. Unfortunately for him, his teammate, not that most HP. It's Plopsky on 30. Nock, he's gonna lose Plopsky, he tries to react to that. B-Mass and Cold Zera coming in from Ivy for the perfect retake. No further losses for FaZe Clan. No, 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 no. You, you, you may be screwed because of this. B-Mass gonna try to respond there. Brokey, he's gone down as has the upper box halls. But B-Mass shows up and he's got himself the two-piece that they absolutely needed. However, Hompus. But the question is, how much more info does he gather before he decides to pull the trigger? He he's, other CTs with, he's rotating. Uh -oh. He's already close in Z. If he doesn't check it, Cold Zera's going to snatch him back. But Cold Zera drops the shot. However, Nock, he also hasn't come down with Bomb. He was a little cautious with the potential of a ladder flank, which is now happening. But Cold Zera's in a prime position to try and stop this. He's 0 for 2 on op shots this round. So Bomb goes down. And we've got the retake yet again. Can Nico's timing from behind help Cold Zera as he has already toppled one of the two? It's Nock, the last man up, once more. And that smoke he's hiding in begins to fade. He's on full display and yet still the spray connects. Nico next, in with the kill. For that to happen. Now they go back to similar strats. It was cool to see how far uh, Hampus could get outside and all the Olaf push is actually no good. Nico. Quick switching in the air, but then when he lands, just sprays him down, no problem. Cold Zero up top, Nock is not going to be aware of this, is he? Oh. Nope. Down he goes. Oh. Meanwhile, Twist, his op has connected. Where Cold Zera comes around this corner and just kills everyone like Cold Zera does. There's the bomb thrown down into the dirt. He's just going to molly it off at the 30 second mark. He doesn't even need the multi-kill. You know, this is new big brain Cold Zera. He's not going to run out there for the frags. He secures the round. Or at least that's what it felt like. Twist taking Brokey off of Connector leaves Nico a little bit stranded. Oh, the flash. And that flashback is meant to push him oh, out of here. Twist oh. is getting chased, and it's pretty damn close. But in the end, it's FaZe Clan back in with a fourth. It made sense. And the Ivy push. So here's the thing. NIP, their best moment so far this half. Right, could be decent. Yeah, there goes half of Hompus' health. Nice made, Nico. Found that superb timing. Rain, meanwhile, just gonna chill out in the offices. He decides to duel versus Twist. And that goes his way. He is still alive somehow. He's still alive, yeah. they are protecting yeah. him. Plopsky, all he wants, all he wants is that kill versus Rain. Some revenge. 30 seconds left over. Doesn't even have the bomb. Doesn't want to die after time, so he's looking for the duels, and B-Bass is going to give him one. Or first victor. Flash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. He's pressured him. Uh -oh. He's pressured him. Done a great Ooh. job of actually causing a distraction there. You saw the offset crosshair. Definitely not help B-Mass out. Brokey. Uh -oh. Looking to land these off shots, but B2 starts to get a little pressured. Rez can't do much about it. Nico's going to creep in with one of the two snipers in this retake attempt, oh. and he actually gets caught by knock. Flashbang goes deep. 
CT goes high. All the while, one's in Z. Plopsky shut down by cold. That's a crucial kill, or else Z would have been compromised. Brokey with the off on the retake. I mean, there's still a chance where they don't even go for this because they're losing players before they can even move forward, but looks like FaZe are going to try it. They are climbing the blue train, and Nox defending it with his life, but Brokey on the top side of it tries to fall back now. He knows this round is gone. There's no way he wins it, but can he, can he even escape? No, sir. Hoppus shuts it down. That's a huge 4K for Nock. Somebody who we've seen. Looks like a fast one. Molotov's already being thrown out here. Nico, he's playing behind the train. And he's good for some cover, but it's the Ops. Both Cold Zera and Brokey connecting crucial shots. Rain moves forward, goes down. Hoppus now trying to find the multi-kill. But BMAS, not just for holding the B-bomb site, he's got flanks on him too. He takes Hampus down to 7 HP. That was a very awkward angle, though. I mean, who knows? Would... Maybe it maybe it still matters. There's an off here that could miss. Never mind. Nope. Brokey, he don't miss. Brokey swings in and takes it. Like the full-on B, and then he's just meant to literally walk through the site. He's not necessarily meant to flank Z, but just to try to get a kill outside as well. Oh, wow. Another... Man, they're, really, they're just throwing the fast rush outside. They have kind of the same guns. Doesn't, uh, it feels like they're a bit fed up, but uh, yeah. who knows? It might actually work. So far, so good. They've got that 3v3. They catch the offer trying to fall back, but here comes Vmas again. Last time he was crucial, and this time, yet again. He's dropped it to the one versus one. It's Rez v Cold Zera. With somebody, especially after having the man advantage. They just toss that away, and here's the scope. The sound heard right before his death, Cold Zera. Closer B Mass gets to the top of ladder, the more Brokey can turn his attention back to Ivy. Rain, in the meantime, he's decided to shut down T Con in its entirety. Two frags for Rain, man advantage stripped away from Nip, and Plopsky has to walk forward because it's not just the man advantage, but it's the bomb. And with 30 seconds left, Rain's gonna just pummel through the smoke, knock last man up yet again. This time he does cut down Brokey, but will he expect B Mass? Seems not. That's a tense one for FaZe Clan, a CT side that has not stopped. It's gonna be the straight up B hit. Sure, they have one player lingering over on Ivy, but everybody else has to find footwork on B. And it all boils down to dealing with the opera first. Brokey, he's gonna get pushed back through oil cold. Well, he's rotated in, but lost half of his health already. Hoppus could very well just spam through smoke, but he holds off for the moment. They predict the walk down from Rain. Nicely done from Hoppus here. He's trying to find that second head, and he will right through smoke. Nico, one versus four to the top side of the box halls, but this looks like Nip have done it. A fifth round on their T side will definitely help as they swap over to the defense. Tying VMAS for the most amount of kills. Well, there's nobody else on his team who's really stepping up to that level. Let's see if the CT side does them any favors. Don't forget that this is the map pick of the Ninjas in Pyjamas. Uh, for that kind of CT side, or that kind of T side, excuse me. So Faze Fa will take the remaining three into lower, miss a Molotov that will be inconsequential, but still five up for NIP anyways. A <laughs> Yeah, just shooting him in the back, letting them know what's coming. That actually did take Nico down to 1 HP. So let's see if he can make anything happen, because all the while, we've got Cold Zera connecting a couple headshots. Sure, he sits on only 22 HP with three CTs to go, but that one looked doable for just a moment. Twist, he's gonna find himself a three-piece here in the pistol. Also could have been way better. Here's the hit, though. We've got two Ts coming off of the top rope, just looking to close this distance, looking to skewer Hoppus against the wall a second from Rain. If he starts to come alive, then we're going to have all of Phase Clan basically hitting shots, and that is a beast to try and hold back. So, yeah, very straightforward. And he closes that distance, compromises, you know, all of the sideline, and very easily cuts through the B bomb site. He's even going to rack up a third frag versus Plopsky. Yeah, so and we didn't see we didn't see entries like that from NIP in the first half. That was pretty beastly by Rain. Being thrown into a system with players of a whole different caliber and it working so well. I mean, Brokey was one of the hottest players at the start of 2020, and he still is an incredible prospect. But now he's got B Mass who looks kind of at him as guidance. And I What's think that's question. Well, what is the question? Is it is it more pressure or less? Is that what you're saying? L less. Like, I think, it, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I got lost in my train of thought there. But I, 
I guess the question at the end of the day is like, doesn't this make it easier for Beamast if he just looks to his left? Ogre 1 and Ogre 2 type stuff for all my Halo fans. I'm gonna bring you back into the gun round though, because look, this one's fast. Nico, he's already passed the Molotov. Rez was fully blind that entire time and Blobsky nearly dies. He will to the spam through the smoke by Brokey. Brokey, you're, you're about a month late, bud. I don't know what that Krieg is doing in the field. I don't know who told you you could buy that. Hompus, he is on the bomb site. Cold Zera, tucked back by Olaf, tries to move forward to catch him, but he is just moments late. And Hompus, well, his position's going to be known as Cold Zera's trying to find a way to cut down this three versus three to the man advantage. He'll take it. Tries to snap back for the second headshot, but Twist best him. And the spray, Twist, he may not realize he killed the player in the background. Brokey still inside the smoke, and that bomb's too far gone. Everybody's gonna die. It's a 12th round for FaZe. We get that simultaneous utility on both ladder and the ivy. Knock. Gonna get dealt with swiftly. Hoppus pushed up on the ramp. Gets the second. Nicely done. He's got the bomb at his feet, but he goes back for the AK. And that's absolutely gonna cost him. Cold Zera comes in with the double. And Twist, he is surrounded on all fronts. But these three teams are already low. Ten oh. seconds to go. Nico gives cover. Nico saves the day. Oh man, I thought Twist was gonna make play of the day. To Mirage, no matter who wins, no matter whether this draws to OT, it's Mirage up next. And it could be sooner than later. Knock, he's gonna drop the D shot. Four versus three, there is the AK up on Flopsky, and Rez's Deagle good for the headshot. So we've got a little life here in Nip. We've got a man advantage for Nip. And yet Cold Zera still slips past. They're not able to keep him back. He's gonna walk right into their back line. Deals with Rez. There's the headshot back from Plofsky. Can Nico do this 1v2? Plofsky's already sitting on the three piece. Oh, oh, even though he's blind, Nico's still able to deliver another headshot. Or at least the frag. And Nico, well, he's gonna move forward. Not waiting for Plofsky. He tries to flick. And Plofsky's gonna keep this game going. A 4K for Plofsky. And the flash, actually from a passive position, but it still opens up, yeah, Bimis to come through for the peak. Twist was just chilling, not even waiting for a counter flash from his teammates, and all of his friends are dying around him. Or out, and he decides the ladder. Now, it's Cold Zera. He's going to be trying to keep them inside of Z. Sprays for the first one. There's Knock Off. There's the potential solution, but Nico, he's going to bully him on the outer side of Z. This one is finished. Phase. Little Glock tap. That one shot, that one shot serves as the warning sign for what is the all-in from FaZe Clan. But they haven't checked Hompus. He's got that back corner. Good for the one execute. But then, he falls. Twist. He's back into the marketplace. That reload. A little awkward reload there as he spams through smoke. That definitely could have cost him. Didn't seem like he was ready for another follow-up fight. So FaZe, four versus two in the post plant. Holding it back from a distance, and with Cold Zera having gotten his hands on the USP, it all gets easier. Knock, trying to clutch with what he can, but he's already down to the 50% HP. Little bit of damage back the other way. This one is done for. Face Clan pick up first pistol. Still in the mix with Twist, back on ticket, ready for these opening duels, but it's Knock in with just the one frag off of the Deagle. So they've killed three people at this A site. Do they anticipate a fourth? Rez, he is sitting here, he hears Nico, he gets that first headshot, doubles up on the damage, Hompus lends a helping hand, but Cold Zera brings it back, and the one versus one, Cold versus Hompus, Deagle versus AK, 10 seconds left over, and Hompus is gonna take a bunch of damage, but the grenade does just as much, and Cold, he's gonna plant this, he gets it in, now the retake has to happen, Hompus needs the headshot, and Cold Zera's giving it to him, the chances are there, but he moves. He doubles back to the side of triple, and he takes the head clean off. It's Face Clan converting, despite the best efforts of that ace back. Nope. They don't have the information, but maybe they've got the kill. Oh, knock. He just lets that first one in, but Vimas is going to clear the closer corner. Rez, he has managed both of the frags here, helping out very well. And so they can't go back fully without it. We see ninjas trying to move over, and they do so successfully. Rez, excellent kill versus Cold Zera. This is the one-man hold here on the A site. 
Hey, you might actually put it together. Tetris play here. Taz looking for another fight. The exact same position. He's running low on ammo. Oh, he's getting pushed to the limit. Head tries to be ducked, and Nico still finds him. Well, it's a much better situation for FaZe already. Nico, he's gonna keep him into ticket as that bomb goes down. Molotov starts to fluster the post plant. Nico in the open, still able to get away, but doesn't land that shot. It could have made a world of difference. Now he's gonna go forward, no scope headshot into office. That's just unreal. And Brokey, well, he's looking to do this 1v2, but Flosky takes him down, and we've got the ninjas on the board. Whoa, you do not want to be running A without palace control in this situation. Yeah, this could really come back to bite them. They're going to have to deal with the ramp flank and a palace player. And still, we've got knocked back here on ticket. So this is ninjas in a perfect position to just encapsulate phase clan on the A site. They're going to desperately try for the plant and they will get away with it. Now there's this weird world where maybe Nico comes in from the other side of the map, but I don't know, he is too far gone. Maybe if it was an underpass to connector type play, but even as he throws himself through the window, Twist finds his first kill. Ninjas, two rounds. And Hompus's grenade with a little bit of spam definitely does enough to confirm their rate right on the other side. But oh he goes for the reload at the worst possible moment. And still, that's a kind of a ridiculous headshot. Oh, and another through the triple box. Rez, solid stuff here from the depths of A. Five versus two is where FaZe are left. And again, they will just try to clamor into the bomb site. You know, last time we saw the ninjas not give them anything, no window of an opening. However, right now they do have the chance, but Nock apparently putting up no scopes versus Brokey and that second off swings phase. Yeah, it's another pretty good setup though out the gate from NIP and phase will now lean towards B on this round. A couple of flashes just trying to fanatic it basically. Ooh, nice and down. A little bit of a flying dink there, and the damage is fantastic. Obviously, just running through the fire is never a good way to keep yourself alive. But they try to fluster the CTs, and nobody seems to budge. Ninjas, they are coming into their own form here on Mirage. So far, so good. Chewing through the anti-eco. The palace just knocked back on tickets. Oh my god. He just waits and waits and waits. And then, of course, it's poor rain to get cut out of the equation. So there's still four T's trying to push their way onto this A site. Nock has a smidgen of a gap, and he still manages to soften up Brokey. So much so that Twist sidearm can take him down. But a deep T smoke meant to cut off the jungle players is what Beamass now uses to move himself forward. So his AK-47 could be the difference maker. He gets oh. that second frag, and now he's turning his attention back over towards the ticket, but he's going to get flanked out by Hompus. Hompus making the difference until Nico, well, he's moved forward, and he got his hands onto the off. A deagle as well to try and play with. The bomb's so far gone, but the ninjas, they're going to stick this knock on top of it. Defuse through. Ninjas taking seven. That was a little bit too scary. Here for FaZe Clan, looking to break through the spree of victories for Ninjas. Nock turning his attention back, dodging the shots from Palace, but now he's inside of the flames. He's going to extinguish oh. that. Actively cutting off Beamass, who has made sound. So Nock, he has a read on this situation, and there's nobody coming in behind Ramp to deal with him. So he could very well be a problem oh. for the T side. He's drawing them in now. And with their attention turned away from Ticket, that's what could prime Plopsky to go in for his tool. But instead, he's cut back by Brokey. So Nock still having to clutch this on his own. He's going to finally miss a shot and Cold Zera punishes him for it. Twist the last man up nowhere near this bomb site as it's planted. And if he even moves five feet forward, Nico's going to grab him. Man, what a shame. That was such a beautiful round from Nock. Although FaZe in, in the default, they win that connector control and ladder control at the same time. Nock uses the smoke in such a way. Oh, wow. Very nice. toyed with. Of course, get that one tap kill. Crack open a couple more heads here. It's being watched by Plopsky. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. You're serious? He, he just swings boosts. right in. Too. Yeah. Now it's going to be Rez at bat, dropping bomb and falling back beneath the palace. So even with Nico doing the unthinkable, it's still not easy here for FaZe. Rez, he's going to get pressured and pummeled by Utility, taking a little bit of damage. Nice adjustment there to the head of Rain. Very quick execution as Hompus takes another one. This 13th round looking like it belongs to the ninjas. Brokey, a little bit desperate here, shooting through the floorboards and pushed back on his op. 
Mm. And he is an endangered species being hunted right now. Does not want to lose the off by any means. And so the repeat's actually in. There's a chance that he gets a kill. Oh, but he gets caught on the fallback. Nico outplays Twist. Let's see if Rain can do one. Spots the body behind the default, so yes, sir. He executes it with ease. The answer back is not done and dusted. He was trying to hit him from the Tetris, but now with 20 seconds left, it's Flopsky and Hoppus two versus four, and they drop the bomb. Oh boy. Hoppus, he's gonna get shut down by Vimas, so Flopsky with everything to do here, switching over to the sniper. He's gonna expose himself a bit over towards the ramp, and Nico shuts him down. It doesn't matter if it's AKs or off. Office gets burned out of position. Rez can still hold above. And oh. oh my god, he's not watching that smoke. So Rain, he sprints right through, even with minimal health, able to get one. Then Nico trades positions with him, and BMAS is gonna close that gap. He's got the bomb, and it's gonna go down. Four versus three now. Coltera right on the side of the stairs. He just gut stuffs twist through what was the fading smoke. So Knock and Plopsky, all that's left. And they peek right into the sandwich hold from Coldzera. He is looking crisp. And Plopsky, well, another post-plant retake attempt. It is the final round of the half, so he's going to have to give it his all. And nobody seems to want to face him. He has three bullets when he goes for the peek, and it only takes one. Brokey shutting it down. Start to go over. Knock. No cross. Yeah, they're out fast. Real quick, lickety split, two headshots instantly here for the ninjas. Let's see if the CTs can clamor back. Not good so far. Everybody goes down with just the one kill on BMAS. So Rain crossing over through the spam of the market window. It's going to need the most beautiful one versus four you have ever seen. And he's just getting peppered from all directions. He's brought the salt. Rain peeks out, and that is it. Hompus ready for the headshot. Ninjas in pajamas taking ten Second smoke pops and BMAS, well, he wants to go to the top of mid. He actually cuts off one of the riflemen, and that's going to be a great upgrade from the MP9. Now that P250 on B, coupled with the scout, hasn't done too much, but Brokey does connect one, and he sees another. But he can't do anything about Rez. Good thing for BMAS, he's doubled back from the top of mid, and now we've got the FaZe Clan in a prime position. But Hompus starts to claw this one back under control, and it's going to take... A wrap back through market. All three CTs have decided to come through this position, and Hoppus, he almost lines them up. He does substantial damage to Rain, but Plopsky maintains a chance for Nip in the clutch. How do they bounce out? Looks like they're just going to run out dry. They don't have the utility to deny his vision. Plopsky swings wide, still watching flank. Still not suspecting BMAS to be all the way back on market, but now he may know. BMAS crouches right oh. in, and he takes that headshot. He takes the 3K, and he takes phase a seventh round. What are the consequences? Mid is kind of cracked open. Yeah, yeah. Puts phase in a more vulnerable position. Ooh, nice. Coldzera able to catch one in the window, so something for phase here in the 19th round. While Nico still stares down through A, Twist could find timing here. Coldzera, nice flick shot. Just through the tippity top of the smoke. It's all falling onto the shoulders of the new kid on the block. And it looks like he might save. So Ninja's gunning for that five round lead on the T side, looking to reverse sweep this series to keep themselves going. In Dreamhack Master Spring 2020. He's being pressured from all directions. And down he goes at the end. So no weapons saved here for the CT side. I actually really like this from Nip. The op is a problem though, and he's going to get caught off guard by this. Nice oh, jump. nice jump. Yeah. Pompus finds that great timing. Shaves one off of the ticket. Oh, broke. Now plops literally to the fire. He's going to come in from connector. And they've cleared out the ticket. So knowing that somebody had left probably serves for Plopsky to come in here on the numbers. But the waiting great game was fantastic for ninjas. And, you know, we were kind of waiting for that trigger. Somebody had to do something in order for them to take it. And it's Hompus jumping on top of Firebox. Scary amount of Metroth in the A site, but they don't overextend. They force Faze to make a mistake. And again, previously... They could very well do it yet again. Cold Zera going to take a shot through the side of the door, but Twist extends. He didn't expect Cold to peek back, knowing he was low HP, and they will be able to trade it. So a two versus four turn two versus three. Options open. 
As B-Mask pushes B, knock, he's gonna catch him. Headshot connects. And now that bomb carrier, well, he's kind of stuck still in mid. So let's see if knock can do anything else here on the B site. Maybe he draws all the rotations. Maybe that bomb slow on the game. 40 seconds left over. He gets another kill up close. Last member for phase is Nico. 18 and 15 peaks and oh. shut down. Knock, the absolute difference maker. He had a stellar showing on train. Great inventory, and, and uh, we're, we're seeing an auto sniper out of twists on the A ramp. Off shot from Nico top Man. mid. Whoa, knock is gone. Is this auto res. getting dropped? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Rain. Jesus. Swinging wide on the staircase. Double M4A1S headshots. It looks like maybe NIP are having too much fun. I mean, it's a strong weapon to spam CT spawn, like no kidding. I mean, I hon honestly, you know, with how teams, how good teams are getting, I've heard Henry talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, scarier to use, but uh, yeah. You know what's scary? Blonders, Plopsky, because he just runs through mid this round. And he's looking to catch up to some of his teammates who are showing a bit better at the moment. But Plopsky, he's in that playmaker position. Cold Zera right there. Plopsky has a great read on it. Oh, and the third. Plopsky looking to be the nail in the coffin. They're going to start wrapping around onto the B site. B-Mass pinned in. Empty-handed knock takes him down. And Brokey, who showed us great things on train. Well, he is 9-16 and 16 here on Mirage. And it looks like Nip are going to take it. A convincing bounce back on their opponent's map choice. This is the third time in two days that we have had these playoffs. It's going to be the B site tested to start off the pistol. Nico blind, just tapping through that narrow angle, finding the headshot versus Hampus. Brokey, he's going to do his best impression, also dealing damage through these smokes. So a five versus four retake on the B site. They already have that banana control. Three CTs dogpiling upon one another as Plopsky sits inside of the smoke. It finally fades. He dies to Brokey. It's not going too well for the T's. It's all on twist and he's down. One frag in the pistol for Nip. It's FaZe Clan on the board first. He extracts with full HP. And we're going to have the T's commit here on short. So five players for the ninjas all trying to head into this bomb site where Brokey looks to hold. But it's the flying Max 10s that prove to be too much. And that ump, well, it best called Zera inside of the pit. So his single kill, despite there being substantial damage on two to three of these other players for Nip, is enough. For FaZe in that spot, dropping round number two to a very mixed bag in terms of the buy, but uh, a very formidable execute. I mean, you cannot, you, can, you almost cannot blame FaZe for losing in that spot. And now they want to maybe cheat back over towards the A site. If they do it fast enough, then maybe they get ahead of this rush, but it will be a mirrored image from the last round. Ninjas, same stuff, different attempt. They're going to walk right in. Rez clears that second player, so he's gotten both of the headshots, but he also has the bomb. Nico able to add one to the tally for the CT side, but he is pinned into Moto, and he needs to leave. It's the two weapons still up for FaZe Clan. MP9, nice quick headshot versus Twist. <laughs> maybe that's enough to stick to this on the other side of a smoke trying to boost and that's the path of least resistance for for nip i like how fast nip are moving on this round not second guessing the fact that they've been giving top banana Ooh, yeah they're gonna go right in feeling that space that they had for free last round they don't even need the opening kill to decide to commit it's the all in from the ninjas the bomb plant goes down two casualties stacked up and yet again phase the rest of their team is nowhere nearby and then uh, I think a 9-6 in their other win versus Vitality. So they lean a little bit heavier towards the CT side and already are starting off hot here on T side. Crowd surfing his Whoa, way down. Look banana. at this pressure of mid. Oh, off shot missed. This is huge. Broke yes to back hell. through a CT smoke. Yeah. They do not stop the T's. This is tough. No offer Bimis. And he's going to go ahead and cut one off at the apartments. There was like six Molotovs Ooh. burning across the map of Vimas. He's been able to get that second kill. So three versus five. Ninjas on the back foot and Nico behind them. He's going to round this corner right into the head of Flopsky. He throws the bomb up onto the hay bales and BMAS coming in big. A three piece from the apartment to start knock. He's going to line up two bodies. He still has lots of health, but BMAS is done with him. Four frags in one round. A second on the board for FaZe. BMAS putting in some more work, I'm sure. Yeah, good grenade. Not too bad. Nico. Hey, it helps him get the kill too. 
Yeah, he shaves off Hompus to start this round, so fire forces the feet forward. Nico's flashbang going high. Does he want to play off of this? He's got two players behind him, so yeah, they're gonna try to disrupt this setup. Rain, he's meant to set the flash, but they take down Brokey first. Nico, he's gonna extend as that flash pops right in the faces of the ninjas. He lays down his own smoke to give him a chance at exiting, to give him a chance at going for more. Oh. He doesn't want the exit. He kicks in the front door, and ninjas, they're gonna lose another. Close position for Twist. No CT's gonna walk into him. Cold Zera. Ready to respond to all of it. Wow, good flashbang from Brokey. And it is three kills up for the CTs. Man advantage for the defense. Brokey, his position known. And some shots spinning by. But Rain arrives and Brokey blows his brains out. That is FaZe Clan with a fifth of NIP. Rain, deep emo. Cold Zero right in front of him. Nico as well, trying to play over towards the new box. They have the element of surprise. They don't know the numbers, and Rain's doing it all on his own for the time being. Now Nico's off, coming into the play, coming into fruition. As he drops another smoke down in front of him, he's just burning it all down with the timing. Ten seconds left. <laughs> Twist and Hampus trying to find a solution, but the answer's not there. Phase Clan, seven rounds to five. And again, they're doing a great job of holding grenades. Straight uh -oh. into them. Ooh, the second. A quick scope in from Nico, but a quick couple of kills back for the pistols. It seems like ninjas are just going to try to throw themselves against this B site. And luckily for them, there is no third player hiding in the corners this time around. But they still seem a little hesitant. They slow down ever so slightly. Excellent flashbang coming through from spawn. But cold, he can't make the most of it. Knock brings him back. And while bombs still not planted, they anticipate a bit more aggression out of the CTs. Rez oh is boy. right there. Just a little bit more of a peek. Oh my Brokey. god. He takes his elbow straight off. Now it's an actual health advantage over top of Knock. And Twist doesn't actually have a real gun to play with. He's on the other side of the smoke and Brokey nearly calls him out. They're trying to focus oh. forward, but they deal with the flank first and foremost. Here comes Knock back in with the first, but BMAS trades. He's got the kit. He's going to jump right on top of it. It comes pretty close, but he's got it. This is phases eight. So beautiful from Brokey. Look at the utility. All right, all right. They're going to go for this round again. They're going to charge right along to Arch. Cold Zera in from the corner. Gets that second kill. Drops the bomb in front of him. And this should make for a hell of a difficult mid-round for ninjas. They do blow Cold Zera out of the corner. So that's something. Alleviates a little bit of pressure. And with a smoke in the face of Brokey, they get that bomb back. But here's Rain up from mid. Cutting it off a second time as BMAS activates down the lane. Hompus turns back around. He wants to call out this peak, which he will. But the op shot from Brokey's enough. Doubling the score up. FaZe Clan. Seems to burn Twist out of his position. And he was lining up some counter utility. So he's going to go ahead and throw that flash out. It's going to activate Knock. Looking for headshots. Plopsky also in with one. That flash with two assists already. And Plopsky's position just so pinned down at the moment. The T's, they get their feet close to the bomb site, but they definitely don't get on it because ninjas are on one. Try to dissuade any mid pop, but it looks like it's coming whether they like it or not. Yep. Oh my god, the flash is fantastic. Nice timing. It's going to be Nico to get both of those first two kills. Rez pressured behind the box. He's got the element of surprise on Rain. There's a good headshot, and he follows it up with the kill onto BMAS. He has primed his last two teammates to come in on the retake. And FaZe Clan, using a bit too much utility there, double smoking the same position. He hits the headshot on the second player jumping up on default, goes and moves the crosshair before he finishes that frag to take a third one entirely. Yeah, yeah, for real. That, it was definitely a good attempt on the hold. And this is Whoa. Knock. I mean, he wants to save. He's going to have a couple more targets coming his way. Oh, boy. Expect the swing. Oh, he doesn't oh even die. Wow, he actually gets a kill, too. That's two AKs down for FaZe Clan. Twist. He is still sitting inside of Arch, but it looks like he wants to move forward here. Yeah, he's going to walk in, missing his oh. chance as Brokey gets in just in time. Now the hold from Rez. And Hompus, each one getting a kill apiece, but the bombs pick back up and Plopsky deals with the B hit as the time still affords them a plant. At the very least, so. But Brokey's walking up. Brokey's coming for the same thing and Brokey's yeah. gonna clothesline him. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, the he 12th waits one for phase. They stayed pretty confident last time. Yeah, Twitch hasn't moved a muscle. He's doing fine. 
Excellent first kill. He's immediately going to reposition into the bomb site, so they know they just have to guard the plant zone for the next 10 seconds, or else FaZe, they've just gone ahead and played themselves. Yeah, they realize there's no chance at getting in here. Had Twist not connected that shot, then maybe they try to just smash themselves against the site. But More this wave just fizzles out, and FaZe Clan lose the round. And as the 20-second mark hits the clock, down goes that Molotov. They are going to decide to just try to play right through it, but the first two skewered by Nuke. Knock and Plofsky. Down goes Plofsky on the bomb site. There is still time for the plant. Six seconds. If he gets the spray, then that's it. But no, Nico still able to put it down. So it's a man advantage up for ninjas in pajamas. And the keys, no utilities. One of the two last flashbangs goes up. Brokey taking a player down with him, but a very snappy headshot there from Rez to bring it down still to the man advantage. Bomb past the halfway point. Hampus, he's gonna round the corner again. It's the trade, one and done after one and done. But Nico, he needs two. And Hampus able to get the frag, but the timing, it's gonna come down to the wire. Instead, it's ninjas yet again. But of course, you know, there, there's always time to do, to, to reach even higher heights. Oh, oh. yes. Come on, more Ooh. of that. Jesus. I don't care who, I don't care when, I don't care how. Oh the no. The Deeks start connecting its big stuff. Rez, he's gonna get ahead of this. Oh, he drops both the offers oh. and the third. Rez, the one man no. hold. All four kills here on the lane. Ninjas into the double digits. Actually unroot him. Yeah, this is interesting. I mean, his spot is still scary. <gasps> try to oh, spam no. him down. Oh, a nice trade from Nock, but okay. Yeah, the opening no, kill the for Nock kill. as well. Yep. So ninjas deal with it instead. Oh, awkward timing. I just have no unfold. idea. Oh my God, Cold Zera's patience. See if Twist can stand the test of time. No, he ducks out. This is it. This is Ninjas offering a 14th round to FaZe, unless maybe Twist can stop them randomly through the smoke, but that doesn't work out for him either. An awkward situation on Arch side, and I think you nailed it. Humpus did not seem quite ready. We don't really know for sure. Um, but yeah, like Cold Zero is definitely. I set on spraying him down no matter what. Knock, he's gonna have to hit this first shot and then slip back into the bomb site. He does step one. He is pinned into the second oranges. Molotov starting to burn out his teammate, so they extinguish that with smoke, and now it's gonna be the close proximity for Plopsky. He is eight and 16, and there's an enemy just on the other side, but he goes ahead, drops the bomb, eats the flash, doubles back, and Nico's now behind him. From the new box, Nico tries to swing wide on smoke, but there's so much smoke that they don't know where the CTs have gotten off to. He's gonna take one. And Brokey? Well, he just cleared the player off of the coffins. That's gonna make a little bit more space here for the T's. It's a two versus two post plant, and that bomb goes down behind the fountain. Hoppus knows he's over on new box. The CTs with a health advantage, trying to come in from somewhat different angles. And I wonder if Nico's position on Coffin will be enough. No, he dies to the spam. Now Brokey swings wide. Excellent trade frag, but 24 HP. He needs the headshot, and he's not going to find it. It's ninjas in pajamas with 11. Scary, man. Smoke goes down in front of them, but they still seem like they want to charge right through. Oh, Bmas and Nico, both with crucial headshots on this B site. There's no room for ninjas to deal the damage back. It is executions that make the difference here. Ninjas, they're gonna have to save these weapons. This means FaZe Clan sitting on 15. Anything like that completely taken away, so. Yeah, they've had one in CT every single round, so it's, yeah, wow. Look at the aggression. Ninjas, I love it. They're gonna take a risk here, a calculated risk, but now Hoppus, ooh man, almost looked like he was gonna get hung out to dry. Instead, he starts hanging up some of these FaZe members. Two of them down for the count in BMAS and Nico, and those are big scalps to take. Most importantly, Nico. Top fragger for phase at the moment, and Twist will now, with a little bit less pressure on him, he connects the op shot. It's the two versus four attempt for phase to close now. Well, phase have been great at opening up sites, so I wouldn't be surprised if this comes down to a 2v2. Let's see if Rain can help them out with this. Well, Flopsky's oh, good wow. for the first one, and they have a smoke to put that out, so now Brokey, 1v4, my dude. Ooh, cut punch on the first one, but Nock responds as fast as he has to. Seems like Rain has been tasked with it this time. And Twist to manage the five-man mowdown, but it looks like Rain will connect 
with that upgraded pistol, the only upgraded pistol. And what's wild about this situation is now not only did they mate, no, they can't pick up the gun. Yeah. I mean, they have yeah, these seem... awkwardly split, but that's it. Yeah, it did seem like they gave up middle of the map control with Whoa. the Oh my god, they'll go and grab it now, right? Yeah, yeah, and Hoppish, he's gonna take early damage. Hoppish, he comes up empty handed. Four oh glocks god, and a like P250. This. Rez falling to just the standard stock pistol. We have Plopsky in knock in a crucial two versus three retake. This looked like a 30 round game at least. Maybe even a chance for the ninjas to force OT. But now FaZe Clan, again, one P250 have managed this bomb plant. Plopsky, he's gonna see the barrel of the offer, but he gets caught in the crossfire and knock. He's gonna have to do everything. He knows he's in no man's land. Beamass seals the deal and FaZe Clan out of nowhere.